that's a wrap. Uh, wait! Don't you want to see my <laughs> 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 Mail call for Mr. Krabs. What's this? More junk mail. Let me guess. Free tickets to Neptune's Paradise. Why don't you give them the moron back there for being employee of the year? SpongeBob? Yes, Mr. Krabs. Here's two free. I mean, very valuable tickets to Neptune's Paradise. Gee, thanks, Mr. Krabs. You must have spent a fortune on these. Mm. Let me tell Patrick. <laughs> thanks again. Hmm. I know I am, but what are you? Hey, Patrick. SpongeBob? Patrick! SpongeBob? Patrick! SpongeBob. I'm behind you, Patrick. Hey, SpongeBob. Mr. Krabs gave us two free tickets to Neptune's Paradise! Neptune's Paradise? You go home and get ready, and we'll meet up later after work. <gasps> What's up everybody, MinecraftM99 here, playing Spongebob <laughs> Employee of the Month. This game's a little bit buggy on my PC, but... It still kind of works regardless. I recently got this game. And I decided, you know what? Minecraft Tale Kingdoms is my only series right now. So why don't I play a different game? And so here we are. That's a great antenna. Maybe one day Mr. Krabs will splurge for a TV to use it with. Mm. So this game, it's another point and click game. It predates... Uh, if you do kind of look at it from a perspective of years, it does predate that Spongebob movie um, game that I played back on my channel, yet never completed. Since this one is an easy point and click game, it's just like, it's a no brainer to complete it. And one thing I do have to say is some of my older Nick games do have a tendency to slow down on Windows 10. Um, stuff like, uh, Nicktoons basketball is unplayable with that, but since this is more of a point, watch this before giving it to anybody. Yes, since this is more of a point-click game, it's easier to do that. Whoa, that could put someone's eye out. Hungry customer. Hello, faithful customer. What do you gotta do to get some service around here? Guess who's going to Neptune's Paradise? Guess who's going to Neptune's Paradise? That's nice. I just came back from there. It was a lot of fun. Oh, well then maybe you can help me. I'm trying to find out how to get there. Do you know a way? Yes. Ask me nicely. Okay. Could you tell me how to get to Neptune's Paradise, <sighs> please? Nope. Why not? Because, because I'm, I'm starving. starving. Fix me a Krabby Patty and maybe I'll tell ya. I'm sorry, sir. Was there a problem with your order? I haven't even been served yet. What's the big holdup? Maybe going up to the register would help. I'm terribly sorry, sir. What did you order again? A Krabby Patty. And I'm starving. I'll fix you one right up, mister. Well, I gotta go. Bye! Alright, so, with that, we have Squidward here. Let's go ahead and talk to him. Hey there, Squidward, old pal! What do you want, SpongeBob? I got named Employee of the Year, and Mr. Krabs gave me tickets to Neptune's Pacific Paradise as a reward! What do you think about that? SpongeBob, I think you finally lost it. Hey, Squidward, there's a hungry-looking customer over there. Shouldn't you do something about it? I have no interest in that. But I need to get to Neptune's Paradise! Could you please take care of that customer for me? Look, SpongeBob, I am very busy. Please do not bother me unless it's important. Oh, tartar sauce! Fixins. Okay, that sound wasn't exactly appetizing. Huh.
Hmm. Yeah, it gives you kind of a, this game gives you an opportunity to kind of look around the kitchen. Such as hats. Those are my extra hats. Never know when you might need one. Uh, a uh, picture of Sandy. Um, clothes, a mop. My trusty mop. One is never lonely if one has a good mop. Uh, yeah. There's not much here to it. So, right click to open that. Yeah. And. I, I never actually tried doing this. I don't want to do that. <laughs> Alright, so we have that. Yeah. A Krabby Patty! Oh, we didn't talk to Mr. Krabs yet. Let's go ahead and talk to him. Hello? Mr. Krabs? Are you in there? 20, 21, 24. Arr, shiver me timbers, boy! You made me lose count! Jesus. Thanks again for the tickets, Mr. Krabs. Patrick was so excited, I thought he was gonna throw up. Hey, great, boy! Why don't you get going now? I need to get down to the barge in Mart. I'm having a rummage sale. Mr. Krabs, do you know how to get to Neptune's Paradise? Army boy, you want me to tie your shoes for you too? I don't know where Skype the Skype messages. Is. Figure it out for yourself. I have to go. You seem really busy, so I'll catch you later, Mr. Krabs. Let's walk this. Yeah, this is strictly a point and click game you know you can kind of I don't know why I'm talking about this but you can kind of go through the text options with your keyboard um, I'm getting more Skype messages uh, and you can really only move around with the mouse so let's go ahead and give a this man patty. his food a crabby patty fit for a customer no, one delicious and a slightly nutritious crabby patty now, can you tell me how to get to Neptune's Paradise? Yes. Uh, well, how? There's a bus stop downtown where you can catch a bus to Neptune's Paradise every day. Now leave me alone. I'm eating. Again, I do apologize for the low frame rate, but... Mm, that's... This is the best I can muster. I, you know, I went through compatibility settings, but... Yeah... What would we do without signs like this? Be misled. And this is how you get to certain areas. Bit of stadium rave here. So this is downtown Bikini Bottom. Oh, there's Patrick with the hat. Hey, Patrick, where'd you get that sweet camera? I won first place in the annual Bikini Bottom Bikini Contest, and this was the prize. Patrick, you won a bikini contest? Gross. Well, I was the only male contestant, but the judges said I had the most unique figure. More disgusting. Hey, Patrick, you wouldn't happen to have any bus tokens, would you? Uh, no, SpongeBob, I don't have any. What are we gonna do? Don't worry, Patrick. I'll find us a couple somehow. Great! I'll save our place in line. Uh, yeah, okay. I'm stumped, Patrick. Do you know where I could find any bus tokens? Just buy them. Patrick, you know we don't have any money. Oh, well, then just go find some buried treasure. Buried treasure? How am I gonna find buried treasure? Well, I heard the Flying Dutchman buried some treasure near Goo Lagoon. Maybe you could talk to someone over there. Hmm. Well, it sounds like a long shot, but I might as well give it a try. Hmm. <laughs> That'd be a funny thing. It's just like, go find some buried treasure. Where am I going to find it? Goo Lagoon. Should I believe you? I don't even know. But you have a nice hat. Hey, Patrick. I like your hat. Yeah. 
It's the newest style. I'm keeping it real. I'll be back, Patrick. I'll modern. be here. You're modern, Patrick. Cool. Nice Ooh. hat, shirt, tourist attraction. Dress up there. I wonder what kind of jewelry they carry. <sighs> Hello. Nice place you've got here. You think so? Yeah, it's real pretty. Are you yanking my chain? No, I love it. Wow, that's really great to hear. Thanks. Oh. Just for that, I want you to have this videotape. It's priceless, much like the compliment you just paid me. I can never thank you enough. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, okay. Never look a gift seahorse in the mouth, that's what I always say. Right. A videotape. So next we go to Goo Lagoon, it looks like. Goo Lagoon. There is nothing like being at the ocean. Except being under the ocean. Holy crap, it is really tanking here. Actually, you know what? Try to get it in the goal. Ray's Organic Tanning Salon. Hmm, organic tanning? <coughs> Look at him go. He's probably preparing for his next movie. He looks like he's struggling. Someone, quick, bring me the big weights. I'll show y'all how it's done. I like seeing lots of those. They make me feel safe. Hey, there's Larry. Hello, Larry. Hi there, SpongeBob. What you doing? I'm working on the biceps. They are the most important muscle group for impressing the ladies. You should try it someday, Skinny Bob Square Panties. He did. It didn't work out so well. Let's just say anchor arms make you more of a wimp. Say, Larry, are those your beach toys over there? Yeah, those are mine. Old Shovely and Mr. Pal. You think I could borrow them? No way, I love that shovel and that pail. I'm getting all teary I just thinking about them. Woohoo! Look over there! A mermaid, and she's looking at you. Ooh, good thing I haven't fallen off my diet. Where? Hey, <laughs> there's no mermaid. Hey, Larry, what can I do to get big and strong like you? Well, SpongeBob, it's not easy. First of all, you have to wake up each morning at 3 a.m. and go for a 10-mile run. Okay. Then you have to do five sets of exercises, isolating each muscle group. Ten repetitions each. It's gonna hurt. Piece of cake. Finally, you gotta stop eating those fatty, crabby patties. What? That's crazy talk. Forget about it. <laughs> See? It takes discipline. No crabby patties, huh? Don't you ever get tempted to cheat on that diet? Nah, the only thing I really miss are Grandma's homemade pies. Hmm, I sure wish I could eat those. Well, I better get going. Don't pull a muscle. Bye, SpongeBob. Try to break a sweat once in a while. Yes. <laughs> Unlocked another portion of the map. Ah. I wonder what kind of fertilizer Grandma uses. God, these... All I know is that these things are... You know... I don't know, I thought these kind of flowers were weird. I know Mystery, that seahorse, ate a lot of these. Ah, our dear friend Mr. Krabs makes his way to the local mm. bargain mart to make a little extra money on the side. He is such a god. He makes me laugh so. Ha ha. 
Hmm. Nothing says loving like an underwater oven. <laughs> Hi, Grandma. It's me, your most favorite <coughs> grandson. Oh, Patrick, is that you? Huh? What a pleasant surprise. Patrick? No, it's me, SpongeBob. Oh. Guess what, Grandma? I won tickets to go to Neptune's Paradise for being Employee of the Year! <laughs> Patty Cakes, I knew you had turned into a good little grown-up. I am so proud of you. Grandma, I'm not Patrick, I'm... Oh, never mind. What are you baking, Grandma? It's your favorite, urchin chip pie. But I just ran out of urchin chips. I'm so sorry, Patrick. Urchin chip pie? I could run to the store and get you some urchin chips. Oh, don't bother, dear. I'll just feed them to the seagulls later. Ah! No, 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 no. Uh, really, it's no trouble, Grandma. Well, if you're absolutely sure, just promise me you'll be careful. I will. Thank you, Grandma. <laughs> Whoa, okay. Easy. We have the full map! Yes! And that is... Hello. Hi there! I don't mean to be nosy, but your clothes seem a little big for you. Yeah, I know! I gotta have them altered. I just bought them. From, from who? Home. They look sort of familiar. From Mr. Krabs. He let me have them for a steal. He's in the bargain mart, selling all kinds of stuff. So if you're wearing Mr. Krabs' clothes, what is he wearing? You don't want to know. Oh, great. Anyways, I gotta go. Bye. Oh. Bye. Parking lots sure are pretty. Yes, especially with all the spilled Whoa, oil. I better be careful. I might soak some of that stuff up. That's a boat and a car. It's a boat car. That looks kind of filthy. Oh, Christ, he's naked. Hey there, Mr. Krabs. Hello there, me boy. <laughs> uh, Mr. Krabs, what happened to your, uh, clothes? Sold them. Yes, sir, someone with a keen eye for fashion made me an offer I couldn't refuse. But you're naked. Money, 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 money. Okay. What are you <laughs> doing at the bargain mart, Mr. Krabs? Moonlight. Moonlighting? Moonlighting? What's that? I'm trying to make a few dollars selling some old junk. Now, why aren't you on your way to Neptune's Paradise? I, I am. I have to take care of a few things first. I might be up late. Is it okay if I come into work a little late tomorrow? What? You know I can't stand tardiness. Maybe I should have made Squidward Employee of the Year instead of you. No, no, no! I'm sorry, Mr. Krabs. <laughs> I'll be at work right on time. <laughs> Don't you worry about it. Good. Now get going. You're scaring away me business. Absolutely, Mr. Krabs. Thank you. Mr. Krabs, can I borrow this old cooking oil? Take it! Pearl convinced me to switch to some new low-fat oil type substance. You spray it on. Now, who would have thought of that? Yeah, who would have... Just the advantages of certain things and, yeah, glitches. Money, money, money. Kelpo. Kelpo, it does a sponge good. Brown flakes! I can't take those. I don't have any money. Don't you... Crabs, you don't pay him enough. You don't pay him at all. Hey, how can the sludge be fresh if it's in a can? Mm -hmm. Little blocks of cheese. What a wonderful world. These registers are nicer than the one at the Krusty Krab. Hi. Welcome to the Barge and Mart. It's uh, your average teenager, yes. Um, do you carry urchin chips? Urchin chips? We sure do. Yep. 
How much are they? I don't know. A lot. Oh. Well, I don't have any money. Really? I never would have guessed. Oh, well. No urchin chips for you. Oh, but I really need those urchin chips. Isn't there anything I can do to get them? Hmm. I'll tell you what. If you wash my boat for me, I'll pay for your urchin chips. Well, I guess that sounds fair. But where's your boat parked? Right out front. Oh, and, and please don't forget to wash the white walls. Okay, sure, no problem. Huh. Oh, excuse me. It's been a relatively calm day so far. Not that much happened. I'm ready. Now this game, this mini game, you just gotta. I have watched a bit of this, and all you gotta really do is just move your mouse across the boat. After all, he is a sponge. I'm gonna get nice and here, here, here. You're amazing, Mr. Absorbency! Yeah. Mm. Whoa, I better be careful. I might. Also, with this game, there's a text skip feature that you don't have, and, uh. uh Looks like the bargain mark used to be an old treasure chest. Yes. There's a text uh, feature with this where you can skip dialogue by pressing spacebar. Which could be interesting if you're in here for a speedrun. Hi! Welcome to the bargain mark. All done! She's all sparkly and clean! Great! You're okay! Go grab yourself some merchant chips. They're in the back aisle. Seaweed in a can. Woody what woody will woody. they think of next? Urchin chips. Kelp. Yeah. I like kelpo better. Seaweed bars. Those have a lot of calories. Extra fat. Just how I like them. Heals five to ten hit points. I wish they made a blue potion of social acceptance to go with it. <laughs> a jellyfish. He looks so happy. Hello, little jellyfish friend. I'm just kind of like. Mm -hmm. Buttered barnacles. I like them with a little syrup. And by a little, I mean a lot. Chucky worms. I don't even want to know. Oh, God. The way that it played into my left ear was disturbing. Wow! Empty jars! Oh, wish I had enough money for one. Hmm. Use cannonballs. Those things make break door stops. Fish paste. Sounds kind of gross. <laughs> Mr. Krabs sure has collected a lot of worthless junk over the years. It looks like it. <laughs> Mr. Krabs' own toenail clippings. <laughs> I wonder if there's a large demand for those. He doesn't even have feet. Okay. Don't question the sponge. Uh... <coughs> <laughs> Only dying slightly. Let's head over back to Goo Lagoon. What, what, wow, a castle! They sure built that back. Actually. Dude! Salon, it's a beach. Hmm. Hi. Hi. Right back at you. Wow, you sure are tan. Yes, I certainly am. But what else would you expect, man? I own the salon. I must set a good example for all my beach brothers and sisters. You do that. Salon? What salon? Isn't this a beach? No. Well, uh, 
Yeah, but it's more than just a beach. It's a holistic and organic tanning experience, man. We don't just tan your skin, we tan your soul. Right, man. Oh, I'm not so sure I want my soul tanned. Just looking at you, I can tell you really need to get your soul out into the sun more often. It's very pale and spotty. I think it's breaking out in a rash, man. Can I borrow your sunscreen? I don't think it's working for you. Mm. That's because I don't use it anymore. I have reached the limits of natural tanning, the so-called Hamilton Horizon. I don't need to block any of the sun's rays. If anything, I need to amplify them. Amplify the sun! Oh. Why don't you just cover yourself in cooking oil? Say, that's not a bad idea. You think you could get me some? I'll trade you the sunscreen for it. Deal. Hmm. Well, here's your cooking oil. One bottle of cooking oil, as per your request. All right, dude. This is gonna be great. Soon I'll be nice and flaky. Probably oh, running for so the dinner yourself. table as I well. I think you're pretty flaky already. So, can I have the sunscreen now? Sure, kid. Here you go. Now leave me alone. I got some broiling to do. Wow! Fish that cook themselves! What will they think of next? Indeed. A palm tree underwater. I thought that... I am going to steal your <laughs> You are, yes, I, I you hear that. Hi, lady! Well, hello, laddie. Oh, hello, how are you doing in the shade? It is a cloudless day, for why are you standing in the shade? Why are you standing in the shade? It's a beautiful sunny day. Well, I have sensitive skin. It's very delicate, but it is a beautiful day indeed. Wow, you sure do talk funny. Where are you from? I'm from the English Channel. Ah. It's a beautiful place. You'd like it, I'm quite sure. The water is much warmer here in the Pacific, but you know what they say. It's not the heat that gets you, it's the salinity. Yeah, huh. So, what brings you to Bikini Bottom? The beautiful beaches, the charming townsfolk, and the legends of buried pirate treasure. I find it all so quaint. But, oh, the heat is overwhelming. Did you say buried treasure? What buried treasure? Why, the Flying Dutchman's buried treasure, of course. Legend has it the Flying Dutchman buried his most precious treasure on the shores of Goo Lagoon. I suspect it's somewhere along this very beach. I kind of figure. <sighs> you want this? Here you go, my lady. This sunscreen is industrial strength, SPF 100. Why, thank you, kind sir. So gallant. You may now borrow my parasol. Oh, well, <laughs> actually, I wanted to borrow your umbrella. <laughs> you tickle my funny bone so. Right, oh. Right Here's your <clears throat> umbrella. Use it in good health. Cheerio. Thank you, my lady. Hmm. Uh, where was- oh yeah, r right, 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 okay. Uh... Yes. I'm back from the store! Bit of a traffic jam. Uh... <laughs> Uh, yeah, over here, right? Yeah. That looks like Larry working out over there. I'm gonna have to walk around to get there. Whoa! 
Yeah, yeah fall on the tar. Da, da, da. Okay. Mm, mm. Look, Larry. Urgent chip pie. I can't eat that. I'm not allowed. My trainer would get mad. Mm, there's nothing like Grandma's homemade pie. Still warm from the oven. I'm on a diet. I can't eat that. And, um, okay, let me have it. <laughs> What you've done to me! I've got love handles! I can't talk to you, I've got to take a jog down the beach. I guess he's got to burn off those calories from the pie. But I don't think one pie is going to kill you. Alright, with that, let's, uh... Beach. Think that sign is big enough? Oh, yeah. Dude. Hi! I swear, I'm innocent. I, I was only saying hi. Oh, well, I'm... Okay. <sighs> You're busy doing nothing. Yes. Hmm. someplace else let's try over here hmm, nothing there I should try someplace else over here then hmm, nothing there okay I should try looks like else. we just this is the only spot left so Tokens. Oh well, I better take a few for later. Why would you have a treasure chest full of bus tokens? I already took enough bus tokens for Patrick and I to get to Neptune's paradise. I shouldn't be greedy. <laughs> you have, a, you could ride the bus a l unlimited amount of time. SpongeBob. Here's a bus token, Patrick. Thanks, SpongeBob. Gee, I wonder where that bus driver is. Hmm. Whoa, boy! I knew I shouldn't have eaten those burritos for breakfast. Not the best idea. Marty. Oh, Mr. Bus Driver, sir. Hi, kid. Where's the bus go from Where here? Where does the bus from here go? The bus goes to the ancient Mariner Valley, home to the magnificent Neptune's paradise, where happiness and merriment are the meat and potatoes of a festive diet of fun. Right. Oh, yeah, a diet of fun. Can we get on board? We have our bus tokens. I'd love to say yes. Unfortunately, we aren't going anywhere in this weather. Huh? What are you talking about? It's a beautiful day. You'd like to believe that, wouldn't you? But look, over there, that cloud is just waiting for me. But what if we get caught out in the rain? I, I don't even have an umbrella. No thanks, I think I'll just stay here. Hmm. If I guess so. Mm. I have one. There's an umbrella, Mr. Bus Driver, sir. Can we leave now? The wind is picking up. Can't you smell the coming storm? I, I don't know if it's safe. Besides, that's a parasol. Oh, please! I just gotta get to the park! I just gotta! Well, okay. But don't say I didn't warn you. Yahoo! Neptune's Paradise, here we come! I have a bad feeling about this. Oh, don't be a sour sport, Marty. I have the feeling today will be like no other day! Yes, uh... 
You will have that feeling. Oh! Great! No, I can't see anything! <laughs> Yes. <laughs> I love that line. Sound in the whole sea. That is pretty annoying. But I didn't say anything yet. You don't need to. Ah! Silence, you ignorant buffoons! <laughs> Enough! Enough! Oh shh! Get back up here and you Dude. And stop making so much noise. Dude, you don't have autopilot. Oh god. Yeah. Dude, he's not even doing anything. He's just sleeping. Looks like rain. I can barely see where I'm going. Hold on, everybody. Oh. Oh, rock bottom. Until the storm blows over. Buzz um, station. Patrick, this doesn't look like Neptune's paradise. Uh-oh. Yeah. This is where I'm gonna stop. I wanna thank you guys very very much for watching. This has been Minecraft M99 playing Sp SpongeBob Employee of the Month. And yeah, see you guys later.